What's up, everybody? So uh, what I want to talk about today is kind of just people don't understand what real trading is. People don't get the point of having a back-tested strategy. People don't understand the point of sticking with your strategy if you're proven to be profitable. People don't get that. And I, I want to talk to the new trader because I think this is very important, especially for the new trader. So what I want to break down here is SID. This is one of the trades that I've talked about before on the uh, both on the website uh, and if you follow me on the Instagram account. Basically, look. Okay, look. So what I think is lacking in trading is, it, especially for the new trader, is the ability to just trade through losses and we talk about this all the time trading through losses and that losses are part of the game and everybody talks about that but it you got to take it a step further okay so i trade these trend lines all the time they work well they work actually pretty damn well if you know how to trade them but so let's let's go back here so let's pretend we're here so basically so i see the trend line developing okay puts in a low obviously you're not going to see it here puts in another low okay now you start to see okay now it's trending upward comes down and this is where I took the first trade. Probably a little early, probably earlier than most people would have recognized this trend line appearing, but I took the trade here, okay? What happened? I got stopped out. So this is, the, we're, we're trading the day here, which means I'm trading day closes or as close to the end of the day as possible. You, you guys know that's how I trade. When I swing trade, I trade day closes. So I took the trade right here. Well, what happened? Immediately, immediately broke back into or above the trend line, okay? So what did I do? What did I do, you guys? If you guys have been following me for a while or, or, or you know how I trade, what did I do? I exited. This is not rocket science. It's not, it's, not, it's not magic or voodoo. I exited. So I took a small loss, okay? Entered here, exited here. The close above, okay? It's about 13 cent loss. Do the math. 100 shares, that's 13 bucks. 1,000 shares is 130 bucks. Exit. Guess what? Zero emotion. Okay, so continues, continues. At this point, now we know really we're seeing this trend line. In reality, you can actually put a, in reality, we're getting really nice, we're getting some nice trending here, right? So you start to see this develop, right? Okay, continues on, continues on, puts another pretty much almost like a double, eh, kind of double top, not really. Continues on, continues on, right? And then what do we get right here? What do we get right here? Another break, you guys. So what did I do? I entered. Actually, it'd be right here. Close, right here. Entered. Okay. What happens goes down a little bit great makes some profits boom get stopped out okay another nine ten cent loss okay what did i do exited without any emotion that's that's you guys have to understand that you have to exit without any emotion you have to enter without any emotion and you continue to trade your strategy if you know that it's profitable this is why back testing a strategy not just when people think back testing they think oh well i'm going to take a strategy i'm going to back test it on a bunch of different stocks oh it doesn't work that's not what it's not what we mean when we say back testing okay you have to pick the assets that it works on okay so you can't just go in and you can't just you can't just take a strategy and back test it across the sp500 it's not it's that's no good you find the stocks that it's proven to work on over the last five or 10 years, and only those stocks. Then you, you once you have a back-tested strategy that is proven to be profitable, then you move forward and you continue to trade on that, on that, on that asset. What did I do? So I stopped out. Okay, no big deal. Most people here, they're annoyed. They got stopped out once, get stopped out again. People get annoyed. For some reason, people think that if, if a trade doesn't go their way, they're doing something wrong or they're stupid or they don't know what they're doing. No, you get stopped out once here, continues, get stopped out here again. Big deal. Okay, continues, continues, finally breaks, right? Finally breaks right here. Now, guess what happens? Look at this. Look at this. 38, boom, stopped out again for a 20 cent loss. So now we're at, a, we're, we're at around 30 or 40 cents in loss. Okay, we're at, we're at around 30 or 40 cents in loss. What happens? Continues down up breaks again now i'm going to ask you guys how many of you could have traded how many of you could have truly said you would have traded through the first loss and then the second loss and then third loss and then pulled the trigger again how many of you would have done that truly ask yourself i do this with zero emotion i just pull the trigger 
again and again and again. And the reason why I'm allowed to do that and I'm okay with doing that is because I trade with the proper size, because I back tested my results, because I know my strategy works, and because I know that if I continue to pull the trigger, this strategy works. If I continue to pull the trigger, the, the gain that I'm eventually going to get trading these breakouts on the stocks that I have picked, trading these breakouts, I know that I can take multiple losses, six losses. Really, it's around six losses. And I know they will cover, in on average, on average, the strategy that I use, I know will cover about six losses. So we're on loss three. That means we're halfway there. Okay? So what did I do? You enter again. You enter again at the close, once again. And look at the move that we get. Look at the move that we get, you guys. Look at this. Okay? 321 down to 178. So now we're talking about a dollar in profit. Now, of course, you don't call the very bottom. Okay, I got up, I got out right around here. Why? Well, you guys know that. Okay, get some gap downs, get some gap downs. Okay, what what do I always say? What do I always say? Use those whole numbers, right? I, I love whole numbers. I'm a proponent of whole numbers. I think that whole numbers work, especially when we're talking about stocks priced between really between three or fifteen dollars. A little bit lower, a little bit more, that's okay. But priced around that range. Okay, so what did I do? I exited above two dollars because of those whole numbers. So what do we get? We get a we get a we get profit of around really about a dollar twenty, a dollar ten, right around a dollar ten for me. And we took maybe thirty cents in loss. That's a three to one. Okay, that you you risk or you lose a third of what you make. That's what trading is, and you just you just do it over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, uh, which one was it? AG. This was another recent recent trade. Okay, I got stopped out here. Stopped out here. Triangle breakout. Continue to continue, and you, a lot of people are going to ask me, why didn't I have it down here? Well, because it's much more obvious right here. You have three lows right in the same area. Okay, puts in a low, puts in a low, puts in a low, all very similar. If you want to be more accurate, really right around there. Okay, but so pretty much I, I got stopped out. Uh, there we go. I got stopped out right here. And see, here's the thing. It's not perfect. Some people would have put it here. Some people would have put it down here. I put it right here right here and because of that I got stopped out right here immediately entered immediately got stopped out immediately entered immediately got stopped out okay what do we do well continues 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 finally breaks now of course we don't we're not gonna get in at 720 nobody's that nobody's that perfect so I traded this on the hourly and where did we get in we got in right under, of course, if you guys have been following me for any amount of time, you know where I got in. At the break of seven, always, those whole numbers work. They truly do work. Break of seven, wrote it down, of course, where am I exiting? Do I really have to tell you guys where I'm exiting? Where am I exiting? Of course. Right above six bucks. Little, a little bit above six bucks, but right, really close to six bucks. So we get a 90 cent dollar gain with a 30, 40 cent loss. You just do it over and over and over again. You trust your strategy, not because you blindly trust strategies. You trust your strategy because you made sure that you did the back testing. Once you trust your strategy, once you know how much your average stop loss is on average, or how much, on, on average, how much loss you take, which in, in reality would be your stop loss. Those should be synonymous if you're using stop losses properly. That's another big problem with new traders. Use your stop losses properly. Okay, but if you're using your stop losses property, properly, it should be synonymous with, with, your, with your loss, right? So once you know that, you know how much you need to beat. You know how many times you lose on average over a year's time frame. You know how many times you lose, you know the average of that, you know what you have to beat in order to be profitable. It's, it's, not, it's not rocket science, it's just the discipline is really what kills people. The discipline is really what eats people alive. People are not disciplined enough to do these things. People are not disciplined enough to continue to take trades after they lose three or four times. People, they, they can't. People cannot do it. But if you can manage to do it and you can and you develop a strategy that of course is proven to be back testable and is proven to be profitable in those back tests, well, guess what? 
you have yourself a, a way to make money, a really a way to print money if you can stick with that strategy. But you, you can hand you can hand a new trader you can hand a new trader a a perfect beautiful trading strategy. And of course, if you ask me if you, if you said hey hey Derek, do you want a strategy that's only twenty percent accurate, but every time it's right it makes seven hundred dollars, and every time it's wrong it loses forty. Do you want to trade that strategy? Hell yeah. At that point, I would say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna times ten my position. I'll trade, I'll trade. So every time I'm right, I make seven thousand, and every time I'm wrong, I make, I lose forty, or excuse me, four hundred. It's just, it's just a game of numbers. It's truly just a game of numbers. What's four hundred times eight? Three thousand two hundred, right? Seven thousand times two, fourteen thousand. So every, every time I, t if I take ten trades, I make on average fourteen thousand, and I lose thirty two hundred dollars. I will, I will take that strategy any day of the week. But here's the problem. You give that strategy to a new, to a new trader, and they are, not going to, they are not going to have the discipline. They're not going to be able to trade through eight losses, sometimes eight losses in a row. But on, they're not going to be able to trade with an 80% loss rate. It's just not, they're not going to. No matter how much you tell them, no matter how many times you prove to them that the strategy is profitable, if you give them a 20% win rate, most traders are they're just not going to be able to do it. Because they're not going to be able to continue to pull the trigger when it needs to be pulled every single time a setup comes up. Now, of course, you guys and we can argue back and forth. Well, some certain setups are are really objective, and you have to really look at them. Yeah, but I'm saying if you, I don't care how, I don't care if you told a person to give the money to a computer and let it do it. If the person sat there and watched every single trade, they're going to pull out. It just that's just unfortunately that's how new traders are. So your primary goal as a new trader is to get over that emotion and to be able to be disciplined enough to trade through multiple losses as long as your strategy is proven to work. That's it. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope that was informative and truly get your ass in gear and start learning the discipline part. There are plenty of good trading strategies out there, both long-term, short-term, swing trading, trading, day trading. There are a lot of things that work, but all of them require discipline. So, all right, that's, that's it for today. Uh, you know, I, I run Finance and Chocolate, but these videos are going to, from now on, be posted on Tyson Polishek's YouTube channel. Reason is, is Tyson Polishek is going to kind of be the the uh, brainchild of me and my business partner. That's kind of going to be the umbrella company. Finance and Chocolate is not going anywhere. That is still my company, and that is still the the way that I. That's that's the. Uh, that's the company and the social media account and the, the website that I trade under. But these videos are going to be uploaded to the Tees and Polishek. YouTube. So if you want more videos like this, follow the Tees and Polshek YouTube, not the Finance and Chocolate YouTube. The Finance and Chocolate YouTube may have a video here and there, but truly we're trying to get people to follow the Tees and Polshek YouTube just because that's where all the content's going to be, both for trading and we'll have we'll have a playlist just for trading, but pretty much all content across the board. If you like business as well, we do a lot of business stuff on there and a lot of real estate stuff on there. All right. So like we always say at Finance and Chocolate, trade smart. See you in the next lesson.